If you've ever heard an explanation of Hawking radiation, it was probably wrong, even if you heard it from Stephen Hawking himself. So let's explore what Hawking radiation actually means, what's in the wrong explanation, and what's the correct one. Hawking radiation refers to a process by which black holes could lose mass over time. It was first proposed by Stephen Hawking in 1974 with more detail in his 1975 paper. And it was in this 1975 paper that Hawking first introduced this wrong but commonly used explanation, which goes something like this. Empty space isn't actually empty. It's filled with what we call quantum fields, and those fields have energy. In the case of empty space, we call that energy the vacuum energy. From that vacuum energy, a particle-antiparticle pair could pop into existence and then immediately annihilate, turning back into energy. But imagine if that happened on the event horizon, the point of no return for a black hole. One of those particles could fall back into the black hole while the other one escaped, taking with it some of the energy of the black hole. This is the explanation Hawking put in A Brief History of Time, but when you go look at his 1975 paper, it's followed by a very important sentence. He says, this is heuristic and should not be taken literally. So what's actually happening? The math of it is complicated, but essentially you have to think about the vacuum energy near a black hole compared to very far away. Near a black hole, space-time is extremely curved by that black hole's gravity. But if you were sitting there, you wouldn't notice it. It would seem like normal empty space, and you would calculate some vacuum energy for that empty space. But someone else, really, really far away, where space-time isn't curved, would get a different value for that vacuum energy. Which means, for that person far away, looking towards a black hole, it will look like there is radiation coming from it. So black holes aren't losing energy by particle pair creation, but because curved space messes with quantum fields. And this result has a range of interpretations, but honestly, without a theory for quantum gravity, the combination of quantum mechanics and general relativity, it's hard to say for sure what's truly going on. But it's generally pretty well accepted that that radiation should exist. The problem is, the temperature of that radiation is inversely proportional to the mass of the black hole. So supermassive black holes like the one at the center of our galaxy are producing very low energy radiation. I'm talking like 10 to the negative 14 Kelvin. We cannot detect that. So there you have it. Hawking radiation is probably not what you thought, and it's definitely not something we've observed. Yet.